Welcome back to the Good Morning Show. Earlier this week, we brought you the story about photos of Justin Timberlake and his co-star Alicia Wainwright holding hands. And we started a conversation about flirty behavior with someone who is not your partner. Now that many people will be going to holiday parties and get togethers, Blanca and I thought that we'd dive deeper into flirty behaviors to help you have a great holiday with your partner. You don't want any problems. You already have to deal with family members and all that kind of stuff. So Blanca, let's start with the basics. Why do people get flirty? To get attention. Either you want to give attention or you want to receive attention from somebody. Look, when someone gives you a compliment or they wink at you, what does that do? That makes you feel good. Your self-esteem goes up, right? Mm -hmm. Other reasons that people flirt is they want to feel out whether you're interested in them, for perhaps for a relationship or perhaps for intimate reasons. So is there such a thing as innocent flirting? If you're single, yes. But if you're not single, the question you need to ask yourself is why do you feel like you need to get attention from somebody else or give attention to somebody else? Why isn't it just good enough with your partner? To me, that speaks to a bigger, possibly a bigger issue in your relationship. Yeah, so how does this all get started? Well, a lot of times it's face to face. It's when you see somebody, it's like, hey, and some, some people would say it's like a hello and a smile. But there are a lot of different, different definitions of flirting. Another one could be like, if you, I'm going to reach out and touch your arm. Okay. If I reach out and touch your arm, then I wink at you. Yeah. I mean, someone could th think that's that flirty. Particularly when people are laughing and having a good time, you know, you could just reach out and like, oh my gosh, this person is so funny, right? And yeah. You're like, oh, you know, keep going or stop or whatever, you know. But people will do it in jest. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's interesting to think about that is this okay if you're in a relationship or like what where's the line drawn you have to talk to your partner because like I just said people have different definitions of flirting so figure it out early because look when you're out in social situations with your partner you're gonna hear a lot of things so what I mean is, is like you can hear if like say say your husband calls somebody by the nickname that he gives you that would be kind of weird, right? And you'd be like, huh, does he really mean it? Or is it just how he is? That you, have to, you have to figure that out. So talk. And so at home, you're like, hey, this is what I noticed. The same thing for the man. I mean, a husband could look at his wife, and then she, he could see, like, she's getting a little too close to somebody. And you just have to talk about it. A lot of times people um, flirt, but they don't even realize that, that they are flirting. And I know some of you at home are probably going, really? But yeah, some people are just more jovial or happy or more expressive. Mm -hmm. But it's, it depends on how it's received. So it depends on how somebody interprets that flirty behavior or that behavior, whether they consider it flirty or not. Well, I have a ton mm -hmm. more questions to ask you because I just think this is so interesting, but we're going to have to talk about that coming up in the next hour of our Good Morning Show. Blanca and I will be talking more about flirting. Now, in the meantime, if you want to continue this conversation to, with Blanca, head over to her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, bot, body language expert. Give her a like and write on her timeline. She'll be sure to get back to you, and we'll be back with more of the Good Morning Show after this break.